Just met up with Jamie, who is my cameraman at the moment. Cameraman? I nearly choked when I said that word. I don't know why. But anyway, I have got Jamie a super amazing surprise, as you've just seen. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let's see what he thinks of it. Good morning, good afternoon. How is work? All right. I actually had work myself this morning, but we'll not talk about that because I was only in there for like an hour. But I got you the best surprise ever. Can okay. you guess what it is? It's no. a hot, tasty pastry treat. I don't know what it is. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the grease coming off of those. Oh, greasy boys. Nice. One for you and one for me. Oh, I thought it was too great. So, you know the way that it's veganuary and like Greg's has got vegan sausage rolls? Well,. I didn't get you a Greg's vegan sausage roll because I don't know if they do them yet in Belfast and I didn't really want to hunt for them. But remember where that the bakery that must not be named used to be? And yes. it's now a new one. Well, they do vegan sausage rolls, so. I think I heard about this. <laughs> yes, and they're only £1.30 each, so we're gonna do the taste test. Which one do you want? I don't mind, I'm sure. About they're that. still slightly warm as well. Whoa, look how good that looks. It looks like it might be spicy. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's like orange on the inside. Yeah, it looks like uh, spicy bean or something like that. That's really good. 10 out of 10, would eat again. <laughs> it was so good. So I just got back from town. It's still pretty early. It's only like just hit two o'clock-ish, I think. The house is kind of a mess. I feel like I'm forever cleaning. Like moving into a three story house, I really underestimated how much dusting and all of that kind of things and dog hairs. There's dog hairs everywhere. So I feel like I'm constantly cleaning and I'm not even constantly cleaning. I clean like once or twice a week, like let's be real here. But I just feel like if two days go past and the place hasn't been dusted or anything like that, like it's really noticeable and two days go past so quickly. Like for example, like we cleaned it on Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember what day. Like we cleaned it at the weekend and it's Wednesday and it looks like horrendous. And this is like, we don't leave any clutter around and we do all the dishes and stuff. So this is just like extra stuff and it just looks messy already. And you're kind of like, when does this ever end? Do you get a week off cleaning? No, it just doesn't happen. Welcome to adulthood. So I'm having a little bit of a rant right now because I don't really feel that good this week. I don't know what is wrong, but I just don't know. Do you ever have those weeks where you just feel a bit like everything is extra effort? Like you have to make an extra effort to stay positive and stay grateful and have like a good time. Like it's just extra effort. It's kind of like you have to wade through mud or something like that. That is how I feel this week. And I think it's a lack of sunlight. Um, and things like that and also my tummy has been really playing up so i think it's all sorts of things like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take milo out because i feel super guilty i haven't taken him on a walk in a few days i don't know how long it's been it's been a while because it's just been so rainy it was raining all weekend i think i might leave the cleaning for tomorrow because i don't want to do it today and just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna try and stay calm and ignore the cleaning. I know the cleaning would probably make me feel better, but I don't want to. I just do not want to. And I'm gonna take Milo out for a little adventure instead. You know, dust can wait. What's that lovely poem? I'll put it up on the screen here. It's like, dust if you must. And then it's like talking about all the things you miss out on in life if you're fixated on cleaning all of the time. Yes, let's go on a little adventure. Milo, would you like to come with me? Where are we going? Where are we going? Do you wanna go on a walk? Walk? He doesn't know what walk means, but he does know what rustling in his dog box means. What's in here? Oh, let's find his lead. I'm gonna have to put his jacket on because it's freezing outside. I think he'll wear this one. Oh. <laughs> 
You're so excited. Oh my gosh, Velcro nightmare. Woo, Velcro nightmare. Right, let's get this jacket on you and then you can go on a walk. Oh, look at the tail going. Good boy. With the juvie jacket on you. Oh, <laughs> Cammy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> now. Whoa, that's very fancy. Oh, exciting. We need a collar, Milo. Where is it? I need to unlock the door. Gonna, yes, you're gonna complain about the fact that I have to unlock the door. Yes. Now I put my key in upside down. What's wrong? Where are we going? You're too excited. You're too impatient. One degree. Ah! What's your head? <laughs> Milo tried to fight a golden retriever and now he's honking. So we've had a little bit of a disaster. I don't know when this happened, but I just picked Milo up and he has got he has got blood all over this wee nail. I think he must have clipped it on something. Look at the poor wee thing. So he's in my arms now. You alright Milo? I'm not really sure he notices too much, but it actually does look very painful to me. We're gonna have to take you to the vets. I'm gonna take you to the vets now because there's a vets nearby. I might carry him. <laughs> I'm so protective over him. I can't believe he hurt us so self. Are you all right? Good boy. <laughs> oh my word. So I'm really red in the face because remember I said like literally one second ago that Milo had cut his nail and I thought it was just because his nails had got a wee bit long. Like we've had him two months now and we've never had his nails cut and I was actually going to bring him to the vets this week to get them trimmed because I noticed that they were getting a bit long. So I just thought it had like caught on something. So anyway, we live close to the vets. So I thought on my way home, I walk past the vets. I'll just go in and see do they have any availability to cut his nails and also mention to them that his nail is bleeding. So it was then I realized like his nails been bleeding for like 20 minutes, like cause we were 20 minutes away whenever I first noticed it. It was maybe even bleeding longer than that, like half an hour or so, cause we were on like a 45 minute walk. And anyway, I go in and she's like looking at it and all of that and asking the details. And then she's like, oh, his nail's actually broken. Like it needs to be removed. And I was like, what? And then she just said, can you pick him up at 4.30 and sign this form? And it was like really like, um, like, I don't know, she's lovely, but it wasn't like sensitive at all because she literally was like, yeah, we're gonna sedate him and remove the nail. Um, can you pick him up in an hour? And so, yeah, I'm home now and I'm really freaked out because little Milo is getting a nail removed and he's being put to sleep or sedated. I don't know if sedated means put to sleep, but basically, <sighs> I just wanted to have a nice walk with Milo and now Milo is in the vet and the poor wee thing was crying because his nail was hurting him so much and I can't even be there and I have to just leave him behind and the poor little baby, he actually is my baby and I really hope that he's okay. I'm really looking forward to 4.30 when I can go and pick him up. This day has gone from bad to worse. I didn't tell you guys, but this morning I was like super sick with something wrong with my stomach. Then I missed the bus, had to wait 20 minutes for another bus. Then I had to speed walk to work. I was like really running late. And then I just felt down on the jumps in general. Apart from when I met up with Jamie, that was like a highlight of the day. So then I was like, right, I'm gonna take Milo out, make sure his day's good. And now he's in the vets. So. I'm just having one of those days where I should have just put myself and my dog and everyone I love in bubble wrap and kept them all safe because the universe gave me warning signs today. They were like, Colette, you're not well. They were like, don't leave the house. They were like, Colette, you've missed the bus. Don't leave the house. They're like, Colette, you're gonna be late for work. Just don't leave the house. They have warned me. They gave me like three warnings. And then what do I do? I ignore all of them. And now poor Milo is sick. So, well, he's not sick, but he's injured. But anyway, we all have those days. I'm red in the face. It's not from heat, it's from cold. It's freezing, it's freezing outside. And I don't even have Milo for cuddles. I hope he's okay. Oh my goodness me. 
You're all right, sweetheart. You're all right. So we just got back from the vets. Milo is absolutely exhausted, as you would expect. He's got this massive bandage and he can't walk. Um, he actually can walk, but he just doesn't really understand why his paws all heavy and sore. So he's kind of waddling and he's so sleepy that he's actually like swaying right now. So I think we're going to call this a day. He's going to go into his puppy bed, um, which is probably going to be on my lap, let's be honest. And he's going to relax for the rest of the evening. It's been very traumatic for you, you poor wee thing. He's home with lots of painkillers, his bandage obviously and it's just lots of rest for him for the next 24 hours as i said it's a standard procedure he was just getting his nail removed um but it's still not nice and he doesn't understand that it was a standard procedure he just thinks i left him somewhere scary for an hour and that he's woke up and that suddenly his paw's been replaced by a brick are you gonna fall over are you all right sweetheart you're all right <laughs> you're all right aren't you do you want mommy cuddles? Mm. I'll rub your belly better. Oh, that's all he wanted. His wee eyes are closing. His bandage is actually huge and his arm is so skinny now that she shaved it. You poor wee thing. When Jamie comes home, he's gonna have to give Milo lots of cuddles. Cause Jamie's at work. Yes, and he's very worried about you. That's a good boy. Come here. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> you silly little pup. Oh, good boy. Go on, you can do it. Come on. You have to learn to walk. You're going to be bandaged for 24 hours. Come on. Good boy. Oh, I know he so desperately wants to come over here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Wow. <laughs> he probably won't master jumping, but that's okay. He doesn't need to jump. 24 hours without jumping will be fine, won't it, pet? Now, that's a good boy. Enjoy your treat. Oh, he usually holds his treat with his paws. He's not going to be able to do that. So how is he going to get around that? Oh, he is actually using one. He actually is using his paws. He is so clever. Dogs really just get on with it, don't they? <laughs> Look at that. He's holding it with his bandage and his sore paw. Milo, you amaze me. We need to be more dog. The world would be better if everyone was more dog. Isn't that right? <laughs> Good boy. Yum yums.